Well, greetings, Adam. Uh, I'm CJ Marshall. I'm a Christian, another Protestant, another Catholic, uh, another Presbyterian. I'm a Christian. No prefix, no suffix, I'm not a kind of Christian. There are no kinds of Christians. One is either a Christian or there's there's something else. They're, they're lost in a denomination. Now I'm going to read off your comments and then we're going to compare them to the authority of the word. Because I don't have any authority. Don't listen to me. You don't have any authority, Adam. The Bible has all authority. And so, all right. So, you start off, I literally reference the verse in its context, and it talks about both oil tradition and written Tradition. No, it doesn't. Second Timothy three, sixteen and seventeen. Se Second Timothy three, sixteen and seventeen. It does not reference this. All scripture is breathed out by God and is profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete. Ah, so it is scripture alone that makes us complete. We don't need the Catechism, we don't need Luther's garbage. We have what we need to be, uh, in the Bible. Second Timothy, uh, excuse me, Second Peter 1 3. Second Peter 1 3. His divine power has granted us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to his own glory and excellence. Well, how, how has he granted us all things that pertain to life and godliness? Uh... Well, through the Bible, we're thoroughly equipped. You're going to get into that. So it's not tradition, it's scripture. We established that. Okay. Saint Paul, Paul's not a saint. He's a Christian. He's an apostle. Well, he's also a saint in the sense of he's a Christian. doesn't ever say in this context or anywhere for that matter that the Bible is the only thing we need and it alone is sufficient. Second Timothy three sixteen and seventeen all scripture is breathed out by God profitable for doctrine, rebuke, correction, training in righteousness. So the man of God will be complete, thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly. Are we thoroughly furnished or partway furnished? All right. 
sufficient, whatever that means, sufficient means the Bible is enough. We don't need the catechism, the Bible says so. Surely if this is what he meant, he would have been more explicit about it. He is all scriptures created up by God. Oh. Uh, about it and not uh, having written contradictory things to Timothy not three verses above uh, or in Second Thessalonians or First Corinthians that is that is too vague. You can't just say he wrote contradictory things elsewhere love me enough to tell me the book chapter verse and we'll study it all right think about it this way if a football player plays without his helmet is he thoroughly equipped no the actual language from that verse does not another uh, anything about uh, sufficiency. Thoroughly equipped, sufficient. Yes, it's synonymous. Of course not. Likewise, if a football player only plays in his helmet and not his other pads, is he thoroughly equipped? No. Again, no, the oil tradition stop. Stop putting that in there. It's not in the text. Where are you getting the oral tradition from? It's not there. Uh, let's see. I'm going to hold your feet to the fire here. It's not in the text. All scripture is breathed out by God. Not all oral tradition let's let's go back. Maybe I missed something. Um whoops. I'm going to get on my all right. Second Timothy three sixteen Oh Okay. So verse fourteen But as for you continue in what you have learned and firmly believed, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from you childhood You've been acquainted with the sacred writings which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus. Uh, he's talking about the Bible. Uh, he, he may be talking about something else. Uh, well... Well, no, he can't be because he he is as able to make you wise in faith in Christ Jesus. Where does faith come from? Hearing God's word. So, no, it's not in there. Uh, Saint, uh, exhorting Saint Timothy to do everything he taught him. Written tradition works to No. One doesn't need both. It's not in the text. I just showed you that's not in the text. Okay. But as for you, verse 14, I'll read it again. As for you, uh, Continue in what you have learned, and I firmly believe, knowing from whom you learned it, and how from your childhood you have been acquainted with the sacred writings, 
which is able to make you wise for salvation. Tradition doesn't uh, make us wise for salvation. He's talking about the scriptures. They, uh, in, in his context, the old law and even some of the gospels would have been written in some of the letters. No, he is not talking about a tradition. He's talking about the Bible. Okay. And the word only is not used in verses 16 and or uh, 17. The word sufficient is not used. Yes, it is. Probable, sufficient, equal. There's no sense to... There's no sense of exclusive, the exclusivity to the scriptures anywhere in this passage. Yes, yes, all scripture, all scripture, all things that were written at that time. And don't forget Paul writes from inspiration of the spirit, all scripture. It's profitable for teaching that we may be thoroughly equipped, thoroughly furnished. It's all sufficient. Okay. Uh, anyway, in this passage, chapter broken within the scriptures as a whole, yes, we have corrected that. Uh... Oh, uh, and you also say, oh, okay, also what scripture is Paul uh, talking about? Is he talking about the New Testament? Yes. Uh, can you provide justification for the 27 books in the New Testament being in the New Testament, God can preserve his word. Do you believe God is all-powerful? Do you really believe God cannot preserve his word with the Council of Nicaea? When the Council of Nicaea got together in the 1500s, and there was, maybe it was earlier, but anyways, um, not sure when it was, I apologize for that. But there were still eyewitnesses that say, yes, this happened. Paul wrote it and may have put for the letters of the New Testament. We do have manuscripts, manuscripts, manuscripts that all say pretty much the same thing. Yes, we have justification. Uh, which verse includes the list that belong in the New Testament? The, the eyewitnesses and God can preserve his word, can he? Uh, I have faith uh, that I have what we need. The Bible says we have what we need. Alright, well, that is all your comments. I hope this helped. Please consider this honestly, logically, and let's have a fruitful Bible study. I'm CJ Marshall. I'm a Christian. I want you to be a Christian, too. You are not one yet. Thank you. Please obey the gospel. See you next time.